Welcome to this first video for Earth 7 in our section on the origin of life. In this video I'll discuss stromatolites, which have occupied a key position in debates about the origin of life on Earth, and also about how we might find evidence for life on other planets. So first, some background on the early Earth, which is our backdrop for the evolution of, of life. The solar system and our planet within it formed a bit over four and a half billion years ago. This is known only from the chemistry of meteorites because the oldest piece of the Earth that we've discovered so far is a tiny mineral crystal that's about 4.4 billion years old. That crystal was a single grain of sand in a rock formed in an in a ancient river much later on. In fact, the oldest complete rock that we know of on Earth is about 4 billion years old. So that means there's almost no direct evidence about conditions on the Earth during the first 500 million years of its history. And also this rock formed initially inside the Earth's crust and has since been heated to very hot temperatures and deformed at, at high pressures. So the oldest rocks that actually formed as ocean sediments are a few hundred million years younger. They're found in Greenland, but they've also been metamorphosed at high temperatures and pressures. But as the oldest ocean sediments, these rocks have been very important for studying the origin of life, and you'll hear more about evidence from, from them. But also, we're still missing the direct evidence from the first 800 million years of, of Earth history. This makes studying the evolution of early life very challenging, as, as you might imagine. But finally, there are relatively well-preserved ancient sediments known, especially from um, Australia and South Africa, that are around 3.4 to 3.5 billion years old. So these localities have also yielded a lot of evidence for discussions about early life. You'll hear more about them in, in future videos. So what is a stromatolite? Well, it's just a layered structure in limestone rocks, often forming dome shapes or column shapes or sometimes cone shapes. The photos here show some examples of stromatolites. Uh, the, the dome-shaped ones on the left are about 500 million years old and come from Nevada, and the more column-shaped ones on the right are more than 1 billion years old, and they come from near Death Valley in California. So stromatolites are quite common in the geological record, although these ones are much, much younger than the age of the Earth and the ones that we'll talk about. So stromatolites are thought to form when a sticky layer of microscopic living bacteria that are growing on top of the structure tra trap tiny grains of sediment and bind them together. So that would mean that discovering stromatolites in ancient rocks would be a sign that there was life there. Well, how do we know that stromatolites form this way? Well, there's still stromatolites living today in certain places in the ocean and in lakes. They're no longer common. They're only found in specific places. This is especially compared to how common they were in the Earth's past. The photo on the right shows some modern stromatolites living in the shallow ocean, while the stromatolites on the left are large domes that lived in a very similar environment more than 450 million years ago in eastern Canada. Both formed in nice shallow waters, as indicated by the small ripples you can see on the sand or the sediment between the stromatolites. So the layered structure in a stromatolite forms because of a consistent cycle of events. First, there's a thin layer of sediment, or sand grains, like the round things in this photo, that's deposited on top of the seafloor. Next, the single-celled bacteria that are living there, the little stringy filament things in this photo, will grow around the sediment grains to trap them in place. But there isn't just one type of bacteria present. Instead, there's a small community of many different types, which form something called a biofilm. Bacterial biofilms are just a whole bunch of individual bacteria, all living together, kind of stuck inside a gooey substance of other compounds. And biofilms aren't found just in stromatolites. Dental plaque on your teeth is a biofilm, and biofilms are a big concern in, in medical implants and devices. So within the biofilm, there are bacteria that do different things, and the activities of those bacteria help change the chemistry of the water in the sediment layer. 
and that changing water chemistry ultimately causes crystals to form within the sediment. These are minerals of calcium carbonate, which is the same material that makes up the limestone rock itself. And finally, those mineral crystals will solidify to form a hard crust that cements the layer together. And repeating this process is what ultimately creates the layered structure of the stromatolite. But that's how modern stromatolites form. Does that mean that all layered structures that look like a stromatolite formed in the same way? If we see a stromatolite, does it conclusively indicate the presence of living bacteria? Well, here's a structure that has lots of stromatolite-like features. It's got layering, forms of small domes and columns. It's a little bit irregular, although the colors are a little bit unusual here. The pink, the orange, the, the red colors are, are here in, in this specimen because, well, because it's actually paint. This formed in a car manufacturing plant as paint dripped down onto an area where the cars were spray painted. Well, obviously paint isn't forming ancient stromatolites that we might find in, in rocks, um, but this example does make scientists cautious about, because layering might be able to form without life. So, although many or perhaps most stromatolites do likely indicate the presence of life, it might not be guaranteed. And so this has been a subject of a lot of scientific debate. So let's go to Greenland, 3.7 billion years ago. The rocks there formed on the ocean floor, and they're the oldest rocks that we know of that formed in the ocean, which makes them very important for studying early life because scientists think life first evolved in the ocean. But these rocks have since been heated and stretched and squished a lot. But they do contain these small cone and dome shaped structures that are a few centimeters tall. Are these stromatolites? Are they the oldest evidence of life on Earth? This claim has been made, and if they are stromatolites, then it means that life was present in the oldest rocks that we know of from the ocean. That means that life first evolved at some point during the first 800 million years of Earth history. That's a very long time, and we may actually never know when because these are the oldest rocks that we know of from the ocean. Well, take what you've just learned in this video about stromatolites and see what you think. Do these look like stromatolites to you? What makes them look like stromatolites? What makes them look different from stromatolites? Well, after this, you'll read some articles to learn about the scientific debate over these hotly debated features. Thanks for listening.